All right. Uh, in today's session, we are going to start exercise 16.1. That is basically rate of change. And uh, what exactly is rate of change and how to solve such type of questions? For this purpose, I will start with an example of your book. Uh, it's example number one. It says that the radius r of a circle changes with time and they are related by the equation r is equals to 0 0.5 t plus 1.5 all right that means radius here it depends on time right if the value of time changes radius changes and if the value of time uh, does not change or you can say at the start when the time is zero so the radius is 1.5 so in short radius depends on time Find the initial value. What do you mean by initial value? It means that when the time is zero, when the time is zero, all right. So that is initial value. Uh, and the rate of change of r. So you need to derivate it. dr divided by dt. So that will be equals to zero point five d by dt of t leads to 1 and 1.5 is 0. So dr divided by dt is 0.5. So what does it indicate? It indicates that radius changes at 0 0.5 centimeter per second per unit time. For every second there is a change of positive 0.5 centimeter which, in, which shows that it increases. If the rate is in negative, that means it decreases. All right. For the next part, sketch the RT graph. We are not talking about the graphs in this topic, and uh, it is not related to this one. So we are just focusing on rate of change questions. Now, after the example, we are going to start your book question. It's size 16.1, and it's question number two. It says that the length L millimeter of an elastic string at time t seconds is given by L equals to t cube divided by 3 minus 4t plus 10. Find the instant that is the value of t when a the length is increasing at a rate of 5 millimeter per second. Length is increasing 5 millimeter per second. What it is this millimeter per second that means it's dl upon dt what you need to find you need to find out the value of t so if i derivate the equation dl divided by dt equals to derivative of t cube it's 3t square divided by 3 minus derivative of t is 1 so that will be 4 the value of dl upon dt is 5 so that is equals to 5 equals to 3, not 3, 3 and 3 cancels. So it's t square minus 4. Minus 4 when shift on the left side it will be plus 4. So 9 equals to t square and t equals to 3. Now we cannot take the plus minus 3 because time can never be a negative. Alright. For part b. The length is decreasing at a rate of 4 millimeter per second. Again, the equation we have is dl upon dt is equals to t square minus 4. We need to find out the value of time when the length is decreasing at a rate of 4 millimeter per second. So it's 4 equals to t square minus 4, right? But now, it says decreasing that means dl upon dt is in negative when you solve it so that will be minus 4 plus 4 equals to t square and it implies that t equals to 0 so that are the values of t for part a and b all right all right moving on to the next one question number four same exercise 16.1 it says that the amount of water V in a leak tank at time t seconds is given by 
v is equals to 15 minus t and whole q for the range of t is from 0 till 15 find the rate at which the water leaves the tank when t equals to 4 rate means what we need to derivate it by t or the impact of time on volume that is the meant by rate all right now you need to derivate it and once you derivate it then you need to place the value of t equals to 4 in your derivated equation so we have learned in the early stages of the differentiation that how to derivate such type of equations right so you need to find dv divided by dt and whatever the expression of dv upon dt is you need to place the value of time 4 in that equation all right so firstly it will be first you need to write down the power then subtract 1 from power and then the function which has power is 15 minus t so minus t derivative is minus 1 so i can say that dv upon dt is minus 3 times 15 minus t and whole square the value of t we have is 4 so it's minus 3 15 minus 4 and whole square 15 minus 4 11 square 121 times 3 it's minus 363 centimeter per cube per second that is dv upon dt all right now if you include the negative sign it will be right as well and if you write 363 centimeter cube per second it will be right as well why is it so it is mentioned in the question that water leaves the tank leaves mean that now there is a decrease of water in the tank all right and for reduction purpose that negative sign is because of the fact that water is decreasing so since it is already mentioned in the question that water is leaving that means there is a process of decreasing so if you include the negative sign it is fine and if you did not include the negative sign it is fine as well because it is already mentioned in the question moving on towards the next question it's question number six a rectangular sides of length x and 2x minus 4 so let me draw a roughly rectangle with a length of x and 2x minus 4 um, at the time t second is given by x is equals to 2 plus 3t x is equals to 2 plus 3 show that the area of the rectangle in terms of t is a is equals to 12 plus 80 square so show that area equals to 12 p plus 18 t square hence find the rate but first we need to show that the area part right all right we know that the working formula for area of a rectangle is length into breadth so it's x time 2x minus 4 all right at time t seconds is given by you have the value of x here so you need to place your value of x so a is equals to x is what 2 plus 3t times 2 instead of x it will be instead of x it will be the value of x that is 2 plus 3t 2x minus 4 all right so now it will be 2 plus 3t you need to multiply 2 to the 4 plus 6t minus 4 2 plus 3t it will be 60 only so 60, uh, 6 to the 12 t plus 6 to the 18 t square that is the area which you need to show that all right after that hence find the rate of change of area at the stand when t is equals to 2 now we have the value of area now you need to differentiate it and then place the value of t is equals to 2 here all right so it will be T A divided by D T equals to 12 plus 18 to the 36 T. The value of T we have is 2. That will be 12 plus 
36 times 2 it's 12 plus 72 and that is equals to 84 all right so your final answer is 84 centimeter square per second because that is a rate of change of area all right so moving towards the next question it's question number eight it says that water is poured steadily into an empty container if the volume of water in the container after five seconds is 30 find the rate of change of volume all right you need to find out the impact of volume with respect to time so it says that in five seconds it's 30 centimeter cube all right we need to find out what is centimeter cube per second so in five seconds if the change is 30 centimeter cube what is the change in one second that is rate of change of time so it's very simple that 30 divided by 5 leads to 6 centimeter cube per second that is the rate of change of volume which states that um, if after 5 seconds it's 30 centimeter cube per second that means it's 6 centimeter cube per second so for second part with the same conversion can you do it all right so for part b it's quite simple that we have uh, discovered that in one second the rate is 6 centimeters cube so it says that what is the volume after 12 seconds so that is quite simple that you need to multiply 12 by 6 and it's 72 centimeter cube per second that is the amount of volume after 12 seconds moving on towards the next question it's question number 10 all right the area a centimeter square of a circle increases at a constant rate of 2 centimeter square per second uh, what is uh, this given here centimeter square per second that means it's g a divided by t p is equals to 2 centimeter square per second if the initial area of a is 1 centimeter square show that the radius of the circle at time t is given by r is equals to 2t plus 1 divided by 5 so that is a show that question all right so first what is the area of a circle area of a circle is pi r square all right so how you are going to solve that we have the value of da upon dt here all right now if you if you observe this equation da upon dt equals to 2 so i can say that da equals to 2 times dt right that means if change in area is equals to 2 times of change in time or i can say that area equals to 2 times of t right but this condition is not correct because it says that initial value of area is 1 initial value of area is 1 and what do you mean by initial value it means that when the time is 0 so if you place 0 here so it leads to area equals to 0 so that equation is basically area equals to 2t plus 1 now if you place t is 0 so area will be left over with 1 and this condition satisfies all right so you have area equals to 2t plus 1 the first one and area equals to pi r square now i'm going to equate these two equate equations so now it will be 2t plus 1 equals to pi r square we need to make r the subject so 2 t plus 1 divided by pi equals to r square applying root on both sides so r equals to under root of 2 t plus 1 divided by pi and that expression you need to show here 
all right so i hope that it is clear to you all right now moving on towards the next one so that is an example and the reason for this example is now i believe that you can do this example by yourself because such type of questions we have uh, done already uh, four to five questions with the same concept or in fact this one is quite easy as compared to previous one example says the volume v liters of water in a tank after three sec after t seconds is given by v equals to 5 minus 2 over t plus 1 what is the initial volume of water now you should know that what is meant by initial condition right and after that find the rate rate means that now you need to derivate it and substitute the value of t equals to 3 all right for part a it says initial volume that means the value of time is zero here so when the time is zero the volume is 5 minus 2 divided by 0 plus 1 leads to 1 5 minus 2 leads to 3 so that is the initial volume and that is in liters so that is the answer of this part all right so that is quite easy for the next one part b it says rate for rate we first we need to arrange the equation so it's 5 minus 2 t plus 1 power minus 1 we have attempted the same concept in exercise 15.2 15.3 as well all right now we can derivate it so dy by dt equals to minus 2 outside the bracket now first we need to write down the power then subtract 1 from the power and dy by dt equals to uh, d by dt of t is 1 so that is minus minus plus 2 divided by t plus 1 and its whole square the value of t is 3 so dv over dt at t equals to 3 equals to 2 divided by 3 plus 1 4 and 4 square is 16 so you can say that it is equals to 1 upon 8 right so that is your answer you can say that water increasing at a rate of 1 by 8 liters per second all right so i hope that this lecture is clear to you and uh, rate of changes are quite easy if you have the clear concept of differentiation then you can attempt all these questions very easy all right so as a homework question you need to attempt question number five exercise 16.1 i hope that you can do it easily and you need to submit it on time so class see you next class take care and allah hafiz